Hi, I'm Arian Backman. Uh, it's my first time in Kenya. I'm very, very excited. We've only been here like a day and a half, two days. Uh, and it's been a great experience so far. Really great. Looking forward to the rest of the time we're here. Yeah. <laughs> We're here at Happy Life Children's Home where they rescue kids that are anywhere from a, a few days or a few weeks old up to 12 years old. And um, I love this sign right here, you may not change the whole world, but you can change the whole world for one child. And why this place? Well, a good friend of ours and uh, a supporter of our ministry over the years, one of my surfing buddies, his brother passed away years ago and uh, evidently they've named a wing after his brother here. And uh, so when he found out we were going to Nairobi, he said, dude, you guys got to come there. You guys got to bless this place. So I'm really excited. We wanted to visit an orphanage. We haven't done that in a while. And um, to do that with a place that has a serious connection with one of my friends, it's yes. priceless. I think a lot of us are, are speechless right now. Just, it's, a, it's a great place. It's clean. The people are really caring for them. They're really loving on them. But it doesn't change the fact that when you see eight cribs next to each other like that, it's tough, man. Thank you. Speechless. I don't know what to say. Look at this kid. He's so... Beautiful. Yeah. It's heartbreaking but also comforting to know that you know, someone has taken him in and is caring for him and, and uh, that, that's loving and on him. So places like this and people who run these orphanages is just an inspiration um, of the love of Christ and people just loving uh, on, on the less fortunate. And uh, just pray that Stanley finds a home and that someone adopts him and that God just continues to bless his life. Uh, Look at Jackie just making that little <laughs> gracious smile. I guess the one thing that we wanted to accomplish here, besides bringing him clothing, was just to love on him. 
You know, every kid needs to know that they're loved. And it's, that's not the job of one person for, for nine. That's the job of all of us. Something needs to change. So, utafanyanini. That means, what are you going to do? So far we've seen a couple of groups of kids. Uh, it's amazing, it's beautiful what the people are doing here for these children. Just everything they do is for the kids and it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing to see. I'm feeling like um, a heartbreak because I'm thinking about my my nieces and my my nephews and it's like um, they could be my nephews and my nieces here but um, yeah it just break my heart right now so this is just amazing because they have people who cares about them. I don't know what God, I don't know what God puts on your heart, but I know something on my heart right now is that sign that we saw as we entered into Happy Life. It said, "You may not be able to change the whole world, but you can change the whole world for one child." Whatever God puts on your heart, I want to challenge you to act on it. it could be adopting someone, could be supporting a child, could be sponsoring a child, could be feeding the homeless could be sharing the gospel with someone, whatever it is. Uta fanya nini, uta fanya nini, what are you going to do? And start doing it. Start living out the gospel. Because if we don't practice what we preach, it's not called a Christian walk. It's a Christian stand. <laughs>